Behold, a mystery unfolded. Mary, on the brink of womanhood betrothed to Joseph, her question to the angel not of ignorance but of purity. She knew not a man in the biblical sense, yet she was promised to one. This journey, this adventure under the watchful eyes of God, was not a story of sin, but one of divine order. The angel Gabriel, God's messenger, spoke of the Holy Ghost and the power of the highest. Also, he said, a word indicating sequence, that holy thing born of thee shall be called the Son of God. A divine conception, yes, but specifically with Joseph's sperm. Carefully, dear listeners, the seed of the woman, the seed of the serpent, allegories representing nations and their destinies, the word, with God yet also God, by divine appointment. Remember, the embodiment of God in man, Emmanuel, was not an alien creature, but the son of man, the son of God, a body prepared, fearfully and wonderfully made. God knew him, sanctified him, ordained him, before he was formed. Scrutinize your beliefs, for not every spirit is of God. The tale of Mary and Joseph, the conception of Jesus, a story of faith, purity, and divine order. It's a tale that challenges us to question, to seek, to understand, 